lighting tutorial, all three steps in 20 seconds. We're going to export an animation from Adobe After Effects using body moving. That will create a JSON file, which will test by uploading to Lottie files and seeing if it displays on the browser. If it does, we can take that same file, embed it locally in code for React Native, so that we can test it on iOS and Android devices. Hi, I'm Michael and I'm going to show you how to go from Adobe After Effects, take an animation right through to iOS or Android. Uh, it's going to happen so quickly that it's going to give you more time to get outside and get inspiration for your animations from the natural world around you. So let's get to it. Your first step is to find something to animate. In this case, I've chosen a thermometer from Font Awesome. All sorts of different icons in this set, easy to animate. I've created it in Adobe Illustrator, I've thinned the lines out a little bit and from there I've gone straight across to Adobe After Effects and we can see it's listed as, as part of the composition up here. I'm going to drop it into this uh, animation and we can see it's now appeared over the top of the other thermometer that's in here. And you can see that it's got Adobe Illustrator as the extension, so the critical step within Adobe After Effects is to export the layer as a vector layer. So at the moment it says uh, Adobe Illustrator layer. I'm going to click on Create Shapes from Vector Layer to get it to Vectors. And you can see it's created a new layer up here that's now visible and it's removed the visibility of this thermometer, original from Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to delete that. You don't need to delete it, but I just do it uh, to kind of clean it up. Uh, in this case, I don't actually want two thermometers, so I'm going to delete this option as well. But we can see that these are all shape layers or vector layers, uh, so it's ready to be exported. To export it, you're going to need the plugin called Body Moving, which we can see is listed here. But how did it get there? Well, uh, I've grabbed it off these two sites and uh, installed it directly. So. Uh, Use these two sites, which will be listed in the video description down below, uh, to find out where to get body moving. But once that's installed as a plugin, then you can export in a couple of steps. We'll go to body moving. Uh, we'll check the settings. Uh, I'm not after a HTML version of it, I'm after a JSON version because we're installing it into a React Native. So I'm happy with that, those settings, I'll hit save. Uh, it always overwrites this file, so there is a file that already exists there as thermometer 3. If I hit render now, it's just going to overwrite that. It's not going to query me and prompt me to overwrite it, it's just going to overwrite it. So I'm going to do that right now and render it. Uh, it's really quick because this is a small animation. Uh, so the next step is to test it out. Uh, here's the file, it's just been created and the way to test it out is go to Lottie Files where we can see all everyone else's animations. Uh, click on Lottie Preview and you'll come up with this box here. We're going to drag the file into that box and we can see it's loaded directly on uh, a lot of, and it's looking really good, so it's a really good indication that the animation works. If I want, I can use the Lottie Preview app for Android or iOS, and then that will render that natively on my phone for just for viewing purposes. Uh, and again, I can check that, that it's looking okay. The next step is to get it to code. To get it to code, we're going to go to Expo and grab the existing code. Uh, and we're going to drop that into a React Native environment that's on my desktop here. Uh, so, all I'm going to do is I'm going to select all this code, uh, copy and paste it over my app2.js or app.js from create, create native react app uh, and that's it here and the last step I'm going to do with this is the, the animation is actually pulled off the internet so I've stuck thermometer up 
similar to the three up onto the internet onto a particular site. Um, uh, so I've uploaded that a short time ago. So that's sitting there and when I save this file, I should see it render over here on my emulator. And there it is, natively rendered using React, uh, using the code off the Expo site. The only change I've made is this line here. Congratulations, you've just created a React component that is a full animation. You can pick up this code and if you're not a developer, you can give it to developers who can stick it straight into your production application. Special bonus section, you can use an online body moving editor within Lottie Files to change the colors of the animations that you see there. So any animation that you see on Lottie Files can be manipulated online uh, using a different color palette and you can download that file and use it on your local React native application for iOS or Android.